we've seen some interesting differences already in the agronomy, uh, especially the establishment, which we saw uh, big differences uh, in both the all-seed rape, uh, primarily at Lenham, uh, but we've also seen the same differences at uh, Loddington, where the going towards the more uh, min-till, light-till system, we're seeing uh, better establishment overall um, and higher yields. I think overall we've had about 15% yield increases from the, that establishment technique in the all-seed rape. And this is probably primarily due to um, consolidation of the seabed, keeping that moisture in, uh, where the plough systems have caused loss of that moisture through what we've had is the last couple of years during all-seed rape establishment being extremely dry. So far, in terms of agronomy, we've not seen any differences in the global disease level, uh, in the crops, there's not been any high spots of um, septoria, rust or sclerotinia, alternaria, foma um, in, in the crops and the only differences we've started to see uh, was primarily in the spring beans with um, pea and bean weevil damage where uh, we saw a marked reduction at Loddington um, in damage in the sort of light till uh, plots which you can might imagine would be due to the fact that uh, we've got uh, interference of uh, the volatiles from the crop getting to the PMB weevil for attraction. We also propagated those beneficials by making sure we haven't ploughed down any uh, parasitic wasps as well as any uh, other type of predators will have a better environment to maintain in that system. Uh, we did check the uh, cabbage stem be flea beetle larvae effect uh, the previous year and there wasn't really any differences looking at the median and average scores for scaration and damage wise. The slight increase in damage we saw in the light till plot was because that was a little bit slower to establish um, because it probably didn't have the, quite the tilt there to have, a, um, uh, have that germination as quick as maybe the min till pl plow plots. Uh, so the plants were small when the scoring was done so overall percent damage was up but uh, visually the, it was the same level of damage. Uh, we didn't see any reduction in adult damage, we didn't see any reduction in larvae unfortunately. As for weed pressure, uh, the only major difference was probably at Loddington where we had the first season um, of having the systems when the plough went into certain fields, especially the all seed rape, it ploughed up a lot of uh, viable seed, especially charlock in that scenario, um, which was controlled in the season, uh, but due to the fact that it got so large so quickly, uh, it did have an impact. This would be a good project to run alongside our Barton Innovation Centre, uh, looking at blackgrass five-year rotation with how that affects different cultivations on germination and control overall, because then we can start linking those ideas and that riskiness. Even though this is most profitable, is it the best for a weed pressure scenario? So then you can start to come up with a better level of advice going forward that's both profitable and maintains a sustainable farm as a, as a business as well as um, to the environment.